Welcome everybody to the Spinal Decompression Success Webinar, and I have two words for you here today. You ready? Record breaker. And the reason that this is a record breaker is because you guys are going wild here, joining the party right here. So as the webinar room is almost completely at capacity. You know how these webinars work. And an unlimited amount of people can register, which they did. But once it hits a certain number, it just kind of closes out. So uh, credit to you guys for being here. And uh, we're just about ready to go. So here we go. And welcome to the how to capture your market in non-surgical spinal decompression in your city and to do it with ease, to do it seamlessly, to do it with a lot of fun and to make it an incredible experience, not just for you doctors, not just for your team, not just for your family, but most importantly, always, always for your patients. That's the secret. So as a bonus today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about veterans benefits for chiropractic care. And I wish I had one of those, like, you know, like those cameras that you can actually see us doing this right here, right now. Because if I had a camera right now, I'd put the camera on my forearm right now because the hair on my forearm is actually standing up right now because I'm that pumped, I'm that juiced, I'm that excited because there's so many new people on this webinar. So you're gonna learn about the playing field of veterans benefits as a special bonus for chiropractic care. So what we suggest here is this, what we want you guys to do is we want you to take out a pad of paper, we want you to take notes. And the reason we want you to take notes is we find that if you write things down, you're more apt to implement. And that's the secret. If you want to learn what the biggest practices in the country are doing right now, well, you're going to learn that on this webinar. But guess what? You know what you're going to also learn? That these are the action takers. They are in motion. They are, lo they are large and in charge. And they're doing, they're doing in incredible. I know you're so excited. No, no, you know what what, 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 what? By, I was, making, taking, I was making the big uh, introduction no, 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 for by, you. By taking notes, <laughs> they won't have to call us and say, what did you say? Or what was the name of that book? Or where do I find that? I think somebody just came out from behind the curtain because I'm I – <laughs> Today. You know, obviously, you know, we don't do a lot of webinars. We've done some through the past few years, but we always have fun doing them. We really do because as a general rule, if you ever watch some of our prior webinars, I really never know what's going to come out of his mouth. And I really never know what surprises he has in store, but I do know some of the surprises. And that's why you want to definitely, definitely stay to the end and guess what time it is. It is without question, without any shadow of a doubt, it's time to learn. Our goal here today is simple. Our goal is that if you stay until the very end, then you're going to pick up some nuts and bolts. And I know if I am on this webinar right now, what I'm really curious about is where did a lot of this information actually come from? Well, this information actually comes from a manual. It's actually a thousand page manual. And unfortunately, the bad news is this. The manual is not for sale. But you will learn parts of the manual here today. And that manual was written none other than Dr. Eric Kaplan. It's a thousand page manual and uh, it's incredible. It has like, it's like the A to Z manual of everything that you can probably figure out in spinal decompression. It actually comes on, on DVDs. I actually measured this manual one time. I actually printed it out and I measured it and it came out, if you notice this, with my uh, chiropractic statue in the background. I don't know if you could see this. I actually put the ruler to it. Uh, in my office, and it came out to, to just over five inches. So take your finger and take your, you know, that other long finger and spread them apart. And that's how big this manual is. And uh, well, you want to hear something excited? First. Yeah, sure. You know, because what we do, listen, you know, Winston Churchill said, you make a living by what you get, you make a life by what you give. So, I, I, you know, a lot of you guys know that we do a national certification program at Parker University on spinal decompression. So I have a couple of things that you're going to get. You will get bits and pieces of this manual. So we have a manual of Park University loaded in depth with, with forms, with research, unbelievable stuff as our gift for Park University, for which Perry and I donate 100%, as does my son, 100% of our time. I even spoke to the great Dr. William Moyle today, who's going to be there teaching uh, uh, you know, some, some manual techniques on SOAS, et cetera. And uh, we're real excited about 
uh, uh, we have presentations by so many doctors that the, the world of decompression is exploding. Uh, I actually put some stuff in the manual now, Perry, from Harvard University, from the Mayo Clinic, uh, stuff that's never been seen before in the history of the profession. We're going to talk about neuropathy. Yes, neuropathy is brethren to decompression. Did you know, Perry, according to the Rashburn study, okay, MD, that now they're associating that neuropathy can often be associated with disc herniations. Do, do you know what my favorite part of these webinars are? What's that? My favorite part is I actually have no clue what you're, what you're going to say because of the fact that your mind works so incredibly fast and you've got so much new content, some of which will show actually here today on the webinar. So please make a note here today, doctors. What I want you to do is I want you to note one thing here today, that the webinar that you're watching actually right now, which Dr. Kaplan hinted about, is actually super time sensitive. This is not one of those webinars that you can watch a month from now and take action. So in other words, you're here at the right time, you're here live, you're here for a reason. And one of the things that I want you to pay close attention to is that there is an organization known as the DISC Association or basically International Disc Education Association where a number of these materials are at, you can actually have access to them. And what's very cool about this is that this organization actually creates research and invest in research for non-surgical spinal decompression. I want you to write it down, discassociation.org. You know, I, 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 I want people to know that, you know, the, the founder of, of decompression, Dr. Alan Dyer, who is the Minister of Healthcare in the country of Canada, he actually was so excited about this. He served as the honorary chairman because he felt that chiropractors and the treatment of DISC was failing. Failed back surgery, doctors, is an epidemic proportion. I was yesterday, Perry, with Michael Rizzioni from- From the uh, Olympic team. He was Miracle on Ice, right? Miracle on yeah, Ice. he was and, the team captain. And, and yeah. we were talking about you know DISC injuries. And it's amazing that so many people don't know that chiropractors treat DISC. See, you can be great at backs, but that's like, are you a dentist? Are you a periodontist? Are you an orthodontist? My goal today, doctors, and my goal in Dallas, Texas, is to take dentists and turn them into orthodontists. Imagine if you're out there doing decompression and you're not doing neuropathy, guess what? I got surprises in Dallas, Texas. Why? Because my doctors that are on here, guys like Osagio and Taylor, and I can go on and on. Yes, Mark, I noticed that you're here. Uh, what we're going to do is we have new new stuff. My father used to say the road to success is always on the construction. This membership is a great thing. And I'll tell you what, anyone that's not a member, watch this, Perry, never before then, if they're not a member and they join and they want to come to one of the events at Trump, right. they can come as my guest. Very cool. So, that's so this, that, well, that, right. that pays for the whole membership right. of which they get a beautiful certificate. Gorgeous. That you can hang up in, in, in your office. See, oh, look at the timing of that. Huh? How's that? <laughs> I never saw this. You know, we, we talk about, you know, when we do private seminars and our, our conscious coaches clients know this, I talk about building the brand. See, doctors, here's what I'm going to ask you. And I start this because I know this is about decompression. But you see, if you're out there and you're not a chiropractor and you weren't educated, indoctrinated into all the beautiful things that our profession offers, and all of a sudden you went to the doctor, you went to the MD, you went to the, to the you had the MRI, and they said you had this problem. You're going to go online and type in the word disc. You know, your name is not popping up unless you are the disc doctor. What we do at, at Disc Centers America, which is the number one, matter of fact, on the internet, we're number one in the country. We work on developing the brand. By the way, guess who else is going to be in Dallas? Who's that? I am Dwayne Clemens, former captain of the Bengals and Chiefs, uh, will be there. we signing autographs uh, for clients, taking pictures with with. With, with our clients and other people. And Dwayne's amazing because people don't realize here's a guy who signed, you know, a multi-million dollar contract. Career was ended due to the back problems. Knew nothing about it. Ended up in my universe somehow. We got him on decompression. He goes back to the team, Perry. Watch this. They don't provide decompression because we're going to talk about that with veterans because you need to know about the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2018. So what he did is he went back, Perry. You know how I snuck that in? How's that? The Consolidated <laughs> Appropriation Act of 2018, which was actually right. signed by President Donald Trump. Isn't that but, amazing? Yeah. Which, which benefits chiropractors. But there's more. And we're going to talk about this. Oh, and I think people in Dallas, they're going to get a special book, aren't they? We're going to talk about that later. Well, that's on the webinar. Yeah. Is we that on so, the webinar? Yeah. If I'm you guys, honestly, right now, I'm going to hang out for a while because uh, we want to show you some great stuff. And we're going to cover 
I think Dr. Kaplan hinted at a lot of those things, but we're really going to fill in a lot of the gaps here on this webinar and the simple fact that this webinar is so incredibly time sensitive. And the reason why is in a matter of two and a half weeks from now, from this date, from this moment, the only university certification program in the world will be taking place live in Dallas, Texas, November 16th and 17th. It is the National Spinal Decompression Certificate Program. And there is such an abundance of materials, of content, oh, of data, you, of science, manual. of research, and more. We've updated the manual, actually, this year. I, even today, I was working on yeah. it with, with, with people from Parker. You know, what people don't understand is Perry and I, my son, you know, Luke Henry, we donate our, our, our time. Why? Because doctors, if we don't take over the disc business, medical doctors will do that. Medical doctors are buying decompression tables. What separates you from them? Why should they choose you over them? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Why you? Why you? That's one of the ways that you'll be able to get into the veterans because of the Consolidated Appropriations Act, which provides that they have to provide chiropractic services. But what happens if the chiropractor they have on site does not offer decompression? We're going to show you, and you'll get a manual at the university that's going to show you exactly where to go, how to do it, and how to appeal the process if you don't get it. Plus, watch this, you're going to get 12 CEUs. And you know what? If you go to the bathroom, I'm not going to make you sign in and out. I trust that it'll be a normal potty visit. Are you kidding me? Look at the profession that we, we live in today, how it's been, been, been corrupted by a bureaucracy. Listen, that's why when they talk about coding, Doctors, you know, ICD-10, are you kidding? There's one code. I say this all the time. There's an FU code. You get paid 40, 50 bucks wherever you are. Every year they work on cutting you. So you must take control. And you know what? The way to do it, doctor, is not by being a better salesman. I don't believe in four-day report of findings, three-day report of findings. Tell me what's wrong to me. My doctors know if you're going to be part of our universe, concierge coaches, if you're going to come to Dallas, I will make you a better doctor. Yes, you have a manual loaded with research you're going to have to study. If you want to be the this guy, if you want to be the leader in your universe, then you know what? Build the field and they will come. If you're always chasing money, doctors, then you're the slave. If you can teach money how to chase you, you're the master. See, chiropractic historically, what's, I need a new ad. My ad's not working. It's not about the ad, doctor. When you've treated hundreds of people a week, they should be coming to you based upon your knowledge and your reputation and your skills. Look at the picture. Look at the way my doctors, our doctors dress. If you want to take your game up to a notch, get 12 CEUs and learn how neuropathy works with decompression, how better to get into the Veterans Association. I mean, this is it. And we're going to give you a lot of stuff today. But let me tell you, the stuff today is just the tip of the iceberg, baby. It gets better and better and better and better. And, and that's what, what excites me. So, you know, here's a funny thing in the simple fact that when this started, actually, believe it or not, this is the 11th time that this course has been offered. Every single time that this course has been offered, the class has increased in attendance. So this is the number one CEU weekend course for non-surgical spinal decompression in the world. We hope to see you. And I think you kind of get a hint in terms of there's a dynamic here that many have spoken about, many have wanted to learn more about, many have envied, including including myself, because if you would have told me 32 years ago that the movie would have turned out as good as it did, it was only for one reason, and that is because I was able to find really the the Mac Daddy, the end all be all, the 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 big Kahuna himself when it came to the passion for chiropractors to win this game, win the game of practice, win the game of success, win the game of profit, and that's a beautiful place to be. And uh, if you look at his resume, his resume is simply unmatched. I could do a whole webinar times like. 100 and not say the same thing twice about his background, about his commitment, about his dedication, about his leadership with respect to this profession and especially in the realm of non-surgical spinal decompression. My honor to introduce to you the one and only Dr. Eric Kaplan. You know, you know, it, it, it's amazing. Thanks, Perry. And, and, you know, as I said, you know, what we try to do, doctors, is we're here to take you from, from good, to, good to great. And, you know, the amazing thing when you talk about, you know, my background, i got to be specific. You know, it, it was not unusual for me to see over 200 patients per day. I, you know, I consider myself a bone mover. 
I mean, I, I considered myself the Jose Altuve of moving bones. You put them in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move those bones. I don't care what it was. But you know, it's a very funny thing, doctors, because what we're gonna talk about, and I and I go into depth on this because see, what in essence is a subluxation? Now we know there are five components of a subluxation, and we know that back pain. America spent fifty billion a year on on back pain, fifty billion a year. Spinal decompression doctors revolutionized it. No different than the dental drill has revolutionized dentistry. You see, you know, one of the first early people that started understanding the dynamics of, of the disc was a doctor by the name of Cox. But you see, what happens is, doctors, when we're manually manipulating, we're, in, we're act, actually agitating or intimidating the Golgi tendon reflex. And see, what happens is, what spinal decompression does, it's spinal, okay, what we want to do is actually get the vertebrae to lift without muscle interaction. So it's spinal distraction, doctors, without muscular contraction. So if you had to write the first thing down, what is spinal decompression? It's spinal distraction without muscular contraction. See, because if the muscles start to fight you, the big muscles, it will not work. Now, some of the tables, and we go through all the tables at Parker University, and we talk about the FDA, and we talk about you know what, what the FDA is supposed to say. But, I mean, if you don't think that back business is, is big business, understand that the, the Consolidated Appropriation Act for the veterans, that, you know, the president put $1.3 trillion dedicated to that. And right now there's only 180 chiropractors serving 101 clinics, and it's mandated that there be two per clinic. So there's opportunity out there, doctors. And if you don't understand this, then you don't understand MRIs, orthopedics, neurosurgery, pain management, because you know what? That's where I want to be. And you know what, doctors? We have an opioid epidemic in our country. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. What are you doing? Well, conscious coaches, we're working very diligently right now. It'll be out by the first of the year called the Non-Drug Pain Management Program, utilizing things like the matrix, utilizing things like laser, utilizing spinal decompression, okay? And the matrix, for those that didn't know, is electroanalgesia. Why? Because what is it? it it's, an, it's a nerve block of nerves. These things and more we're going to go through in detail at Parker University because what do you do, doctors, decompression doctors? When someone comes in with metal in the back, what do you do when they're post-surgical? My son who's in practice, okay, do you know, Perry, my son, about 30% of his patients are post-surgical patients? Failed back surgery is of epidemic proportions, and you can read the research by Dr. Dye from Washington State University. Now they're saying they did a study, uh, you know, the, the author did a study, and, and they did a study of 100 orthopedists in a room if they would put metal in their back. 99 out of the 100 said no, 99 out of 100. See, doctor, so here's what I'm saying to you. You know, years ago, the old consultants, and, and we don't want to mention their names because, you know, they're sitting on the farm somewhere smoking their pipes and, you know, because how many times can you teach consultation, examination, report of findings? How many times can you do a rah-rah a, a, a chiropractic? Let me tell you something. I don't need a pep rally. It's not about patient visit average, doctors. I have one of the biggest patient visit averages in the country but it also gave me three herniated discs, seeing two to 250. What I want to know is your patient visit average. See, if you come down, I want to know what a neck case is worth to you. What's a back case worth to you? What's a shoulder case worth to you? What's a knee case worth to you? Hey, you got Marco Sejo? He closes more knee cases probably than anyone I know, right? I mean, unbelievable. And he does it for over $3,000 a piece, you know? And here's a guy that, you know, didn't do knees in the beginning, didn't do decompression. What about Dr. Biggs? Dr. Biggs was a client of ours, and it's good to see you here, Gary. And, you know, he got a table. Six weeks later, we had to get a second table. Same with Frank G. and Petro. See, it's not if you have a decompression table, is it full? And then what's the value? What are you charging? You see, what I teach doctors, and I'm going to go through this in detail. I teach as a boot camp, which is a one-day MBA. I teach everywhere. All roads lead to this. But see, a subluxation, if you're just treating subluxation, doctors, we have failed because the joint has taken over. They'll pay $19 to treat a subluxation. But how much to treat a disc doctor? A subluxation will become a bulge, will become a herniation. People that end up having a root canal doctor start with a cavity. A cavity becomes, becomes a root canal, which becomes, uh, you know, a, a removal of the tooth, a distraction, and then it becomes an implant, right? So, but see, that what's that called? It's called the progression of disease. It's called degenerative disc disease. So... We need to understand. Now, the Veterans Benefits, like I said, that was originally signed into act in 2018. President Trump signed something worth $1.3 trillion, and it mandates the 
Consolidated Appropriation Acts, okay, 204 Section E says there should be two chiropractors for every facility. And if, if there is not two, then you can you can apply. Yes, you're going to need a primary care referral, but that's easy through the veterans because when you are a this specialist doctor, because here's what I'm telling you, to my knowledge, none of the VA hospitals have decompression machines. So if you can go in there and educate them appropriately and that the law guarantees that chiropractic care to all eligible veterans, all veterans now can get chiropractic care. So you will feel the benefit from chiropractic. You have two options, doctors, two. One, first, contact your primary care provider, the VA primary care provider, and see if they provide this service. They must, doctors, two per VA facility. And there's 101 VA facilities in the United States. So now that you know that, the option is called fee basis, also require approval from your, from their or your primary care provider. But when you become the this guy, we have it done. Do you know, Perry, that now we're getting a lot of our doctors are getting paid for workman's comp, for spinal decompression? Because they're finding out that spinal decompression will cost them far less than surgery. Right. All you have to do is say two words, yep. Tiger Woods, four back operations, and I had the ability to be with Tiger and the president of the United States and talk to Tiger about his back, the things he can and can't do, you know, and, and what he had to go through and the pain and suffering. Back business doctors is big business. You know, President Trump, when he signed the bill for veterans, this was an, an, an exciting time. And, and we're not done yet, doctors. OK, I mean, what we do is we urge our people to understand the rules. I mean, Mike Rogers, a Republican out, out, out of Alabama, introduced H.R. 344. This bill will require the Secretary of Defense to develop and implement a plan to ensure that services delivered at Dr. Conference are available to covered retirees and military and the TRICARE system. So who are the politicians? Mike Rogers of Alabama, who's an, a Republican, and Dave Lozbeck, a Democrat from Iowa. So we have people throughout the country. You guys need to work on this, okay? The American Chiropractic Association is committed to improving this, okay, with the ACA president heard. But I'm going to tell you, it, it's bigger than the ACA. It's as big as you and I. Because you got to understand something. How many members do we have of the ACA? And then how many chiropractors do we have in the United States? Let you know when, when President signed the Omnibus Spending Consolidated Appropriation Act, Okay, Veterans Integrated Services by December 31st, watch this, doctors, 2019. Isn't that coming up? At no fewer than 50% of all medical centers. No later than December 31st. So they're on a timeline, doctor. They have to fill the void. And guess what? We have a manual on this that we will be giving out at Parker, won't we? All of our clients will get it and all of our non-clients will get it. Are we going to talk about that? Yeah, we're actually going to show it. Good. I like giving gifts, <laughs> you know, because I'm angry. We're going to show it. You know, it's a, it's, listen, yeah. you got to understand something. I'm angry. I'm angry that, you know what, the middle class of chiropractic has literally gone away. Guys are either making it or not making it. And I'm sure that everybody out there on this webinar, of which we do have an amazing amount, listen, what are you looking for? What one thing do you want? But here's what I'm going to tell you. See, what chiropractors want, you want to be spoon-fed. Well, guess what, doctor? You're farmers. You got to get in there. You got to plow the land. You got to plant the seeds. You got to fertilize the seeds. It doesn't come. You think you can run an ad in the paper this Sunday and all of a sudden you got 20 decompression cases? It doesn't work that way. But the brand, doctor, is bigger than the product. Remember, Medicare will pay a physical therapist more than it will pay you. Why? You're not respected. And people like the joint, and if the joint is out there listening to this, hey, guys, you know, listen, a joint was something I did in college <laughs> illegally by the chance. And I admit it. So if I ever run for president of the United States, yes, I smoke pot. I had a joint. But that's a joint is, is an embarrassment to who we are. We are not just joint people. We are disc specialists. Okay? So as I said, you know, we have 180 physicians, 101 facilities, you know, and they must have a chiropractor. And if there is not one in residence, they have to refer to one. Here's your website. Write it down. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you the site. I'm giving them a second period. Why they get the site? Because, listen, that's important. They have to provide the service. You know, and, and that's what we, we, we want to do. They, you know, they understand during 2017, overall, overall opium addictions have increased trifold in our country. And why do, why do people take opioids? Because of pain. And, and unfortunately... The best solution that we have for pain is, is, is chiropractic. 
When it's not offered on site at a veteran's local facility, chiropractic care is available through the non-VA care process, or it's called the Veterans Choice Program. But my recommendation is contact them. There are 180 facilities, 101 facilities in the United States and expanding. So you'll get a free report, chiropractic the military, okay, Army sites, Navy sites, Air Force sites. I'll give you all the sites. How to become a, a, a free report? Stay till the end. Listen, hey, I'm working here. This is, you know, this is a day where I want chiropractors to be better. You know, I say all the line, the enemy of great. And like, listen, we as chiropractors, let me explain something, doctors. We're on the front lines. You know, we're, we're, we're not the most respected in the healthcare system, but did we do that to ourselves by being salesmen? Did we do that by not being the best doctors? If you had a disc problem, doctor, would you go to a chiropractor or would you be a little nervous and, and go to an orthopedist? I mean, caring for our military doctors is just as important as caring for the community. And But here's what I'm telling you, doctors. If you're good at what you do, people will find a way to pay you. Isn't it amazing that chiropractors now, all they want to do is personal injury because it's probably the only one that still pays them a fair dollar amount? Well, guess what? Every time that my son closed a decompression case, that's like a PI case. And now we had neuropathy to it. And in Dallas, I'm going to tell you, where do you see the rash bound study? And now all the work that we have that's putting neuropathy and stenosis and decompression. So imagine a decompression case, Perry, now can become a neuropathy case or a neuropathy case can now become a decompression case. See, research doctors is, is what we do. And we're working on a thing. And if you, you know, you want this, you know, I, I have archived 2,800 research studies. I'm always archiving them. And, and eventually what we're going to do is through the IDEA, we're going to sell those. So if you're interested in 2,800 studies, send an email. You know, more importantly, you want to, you want to, you want to learn how to take your chiropractic business to the end. Do you know, I have a doctor, Rich Laura has 12 tables. Carrie Gerges has nine tables. My son is three working on four. I mean, you see, these are the people. See, so I, I listen, I not only talk about Tiger Woods, I sat with him and the president of the United States and Jack Nicholas. And guess what we talked about? Back pain, back surgery, rehabilitation. And do you know he won this weekend? He now is tied for the record for the most wins in the history of any golfer. Because he has a desire, doctors, listen to what I'm going to tell you, to be the best. He will fight through pain to be the best. He doesn't need the money. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Are you willing to fight through the pain of reimbursement to be the best? Steve Kerr, coach of the Golden State Warriors, urges people to opt for rehab over back surgery. Recently, I was with Overton, and you know, who, who, had, who went to the hospital and has not played golf now on the tour in two years because of epidural injections. Home Alone, John Hurd, found dead. See, doctors, when you look at these, you could say, and this was done at Stanford Medical Center. Were these medical failures? But you know what? To me, they were also chiropractic failures. Because none of these people, and I spoke to the Woods people, they didn't try decompression first. You see, we used to say chiropractic first, drug second, surgery last. Well, I'm telling you, chiropractic first, decompression second, drug third, surgery. Why have we not grown? Why are we still on the, you know, Apple three phone? I'm, I'm, I'm baby doing 10. I'm taking this up online. I want my doctors, you know, and I look at guys, look who's out there. You know, when you see guys out there, look, I got, I got Jeffrey Young from, from Houston. You know, you talk about a guy that's killing it, but you know what? Here he is, as big as Jeffrey is, and I guarantee you, without even asking him, Jeffrey, you know, he'll probably be in, 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 in uh, Dallas because this guy's a student of the game. There's a reason why he closes three and, and, and four cases a week. And Kalins, look at my man Kalins coming in here from Georgia. Unbelievable. You know, it's amazing what we do. You know, and what about Kendall Mendonca from California comes all the way to learn? Kurt Miller? I mean, I can go on and on. Leo, Leo from Louisiana, the number one guy in the world. Are you kidding? Marvin Cagle? Are you kidding? Oh, you're talking about a Hall of Fame chiropractor? I was in South Carolina. You know, Marvin and I had at lunch. You know, these are guys. Marvin's been in this business, I think, 100 years now. He only looks about, you know, 79. But he's been in the business 100 years. But you know what? He's still learning. And then you have a guy like Scott Banks who keeps growing when he doesn't get in his own way. I mean, you see, doctors, I know who's out there. You know, I'll give you an example. What about Tom Ferrigno? has multiple clinics in San Francisco. Tom, again, when he, we taught in San Francisco, Tom was there. Why? Because the good ones know they have to be great. And guess what? One of the new board members by the name with the initials of TD, he doesn't know he's on the board yet. So if your initials are TD, you could have been put on the, the, the board coming up, and he will be presenting 
His initials are TD out of Washington State, but I'm not going to mention Troy's full name. You'll have to guess his last name. You see, doctors, having fun is what we do. And let me tell you what we do. It begins, where are we? First of all, let's go. Yeah, give me some stuff. I want stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm zooming now. Okay. I mean, listen, you want, you know, listen, you're moving too fast. <laughs> listen, either, either I have ADD or you do. Let's let, get the next one. Yeah. Then we'll go back. All right, there are five components, doctors, of a subluxation. You must understand if you're just treating the subluxation in your practice, then you have failed. So you have kinesiopathology, neuropathophysiology. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be in Dallas. I'm going to call on someone, not one of you guys in, in the room. And I'll say, tell me the five components of the subluxation. I don't know. We're goddamn doctors, for God's sake. You know what? People don't. Are you a salesman? Do you want to be a car salesman? Go and then go sell Mercedes. Don't even don't even waste your time at, you know, in Kia. If you're going to sell, sell the best. But why sell? See, so what I do is, listen, there are differences in tables. There's the acuspina, there's the DRX, there's the Vax D in that order. Then you have these other tables. Now, you can tell which look more substantial and look more real. But here's what I'm going to ask you. What does the FDA report say? And what research have they done? If you're going to buy a table out there, here's what I'm telling you to do, doctors. First thing you do before you come to Dallas, know your table. Call your manufacturer up, ask them for the 510K. Bring it. Let's review it. Let's discuss it. That's what we're here to do. And whatever table you have, see, whether you drive a, a Maserati, a Mercedes, a Lexus, or, okay, a Honda, it, it, you got to know your car. You know, not all cars are the same. Some have more features and more options than others. You got to know your car. And we're going to talk about this in detail. I'm going to show you the insides. The MRI doctors, listen. If you're not working with a, 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 a neuroradiologist by now, then you're missing the game, okay? Because let me tell you, because we are in the game. Go to an orthopedic with bath pain. The first thing he's going to do is not only take an x-ray, he's going to send you for an MRI. Yet doctors are going to say, I don't know if they can afford it. Listen, the med have you ever heard a medical doctor when he says to you, uh, you need an MRI, and he says to the doctor, I don't know if I can afford it? Because, see, if you don't do it with conviction, doctors, if you don't do it with good intent, if you don't do it with integrity, then you know what? It's not that they can't afford it. Every time that you come across a patient, a sale is made. Either they buy what you're selling or you buy their excuse. When they tell you, oh, I can't afford it, you know what? My response is you can't afford not to do this. So here's what I'm telling you. When you have a person come in and you say, oh, I need to see you three times a week for four weeks, twice a week for four weeks, four weeks. based upon what? Based upon what research? Where do we see in Dallas we have pre and post MRIs? We will provide you with studies of pre and post MRIs. These are the thing, doctors, we're working on. And just so you know this, we're working on new commercials that are going to have pre and post M MRIs in them. You see, because we know the disc and we know that disc herniations are common. And then we know when we're going to give out a thing, Perry, at, at Dallas about ages. That was actually first brought to us by TD. Can't mention his name because he's, he's on. But we're going to show you that people in their 20s and 30s, what's their aptitude to having a bulge, a herniation? See, a subluxation is not an end all. And here's what I'm telling you, doctors. Watch this. The worst thing you can do as a chiropractor, I tell us all the time at boot camp, don't sit down with a patient like the old consultants do. Here's, the, here's their scope, Perry. Remember, we memorize. Listen, if you're memorizing scripts, you're no longer a doctor. You become an actor. I love when they say, oh, here's your script. Memorize it. No. So here's the first thing. You go knee to knee, and here's what you say. I know it's causing your problem, and we can correct it. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I've had a 1,000 adjustments. How come my spine's not corrected? What am I going to only crappy chiropractors? What if they just said, listen, okay, there's a difference between a subluxation, there's a difference between a bulge, a difference between a herniation, and not to think that you don't age with spine. What do you see the herniation chart published by the Neural Radiological Imaging Association? I mean, and sciatica is now also, doctors, watch this, is associated with neuropathy. Yes, sciatica is now associated with neuropathy. So, well, you know how to diagnose it and treat it. Well, if you come to Dallas, you will learn how to do a diagnostic component of your exam that you can find out if a decompression case has neuropathy. There is technology now, Perry, that, that shows that. So, you know, I'll, I'll show you something we got from Andrew, and, and you and I will get into this. So no matter how you look at it, you know, listen, an X-ray will show you one component. An MRI will show you another. But here's what I'm saying. Spine decay leads to disc decay. 
if you look at the chart, the fourth phase of spinal degeneration, you're going to notice that by the fourth phase, there's no disc space left. Well, what pain was that person in? Did they give up on you? You see, ask yourself this, doctors. How many years have you been in practice, right? Well, if you've been in practice 10 years and you've averaged, let's say, five new patients a week, right? Is that, is that a fair thing? So that's, that's 250 patients a year. You've already had 3,000 patients in your door. And that's only five new ones a week. Dr. Barty says he's 20 a day. But at five a week, doctors, why would you ever need another new patient? Somehow, they didn't realize how good you were. Or they lost faith in chiropractic. My radiologist is Dr. Robert Burke. And, you know, we've worked with Robert. We've treated Robert's wife now. Why? Because he saw me golfing at Trump. And he wanted to know why, okay, that, you know, how I was playing golf. He wanted to know who did my surgery. So I had to educate him about spinal decompression, and eventually his back went out. He said, what was that decompression stuff you were telling me about? You see, you have to know that it was developed by the Minister of Healthcare. And for those that didn't know, it was the Dr. Dyer also developed the defibrillator. Oh, and the other person who sits on the advisory board for the International Medical Advisory Board for Spinal Decompression that also works part with, part within Parker University, that's Dr. Norman Shealy, who taught at Harvard University, who's wrote over 300 published papers. So there, you have to know the research. And I have more studies that you haven't ever seen. So positioning, doctors, is the presentation of, of the best research based upon your table, knowing to be the best of, 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 of who you are. I mean, th that's what we're looking for. There's no shortcuts to success. And if you want to lead the band, doctors, you got to face the music. And the music is you got to put in the time. You got to know the studies from Harvard, from Mayo, from John Hopkins. So we talk about the Leslie study. You know, the Leslie study is germane because the Leslie study talks about the time and duration of treatment. And it actually shows we, we give this out to, to our clients to, to give to them. It shows doctors that if, if they don't meet the maximum period of time, they will not get the maximum results. And we also need to know, okay, in one of the Shealy studies and one of the Mayo studies and the McClure studies, okay, that, that up to one to four years later, People were still doing well. There's longevity to this. But it doesn't mean once you go to the dentist, it doesn't mean you have to stop brushing your teeth. You see, we abuse maintenance, which is why we, we introduced, you know, dyslexia marker retention. We're here to retain the stabilization of your back because people will go back to doing the things that made their back bad to begin with. You see, if you're in there, doctor, selling them for visits, you, you, you've lost it. If you haven't been to the chiropractic event, you, you need listen. You want to take your practice to the, to the level of some of these people that are, I'm out there. Listen, you, you do that. You know, I love a guy. By the way, by the way, TD, T D. I'm not going to mention his name. Who's a new board member? Congratulations, T D. Uh, Send me another research study today from Washington State University, actually by Dr. Day. But that's an old one, Troy. Get 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 up to date. You know what he did yesterday? You're not going to believe what he did. What he did was he actually, do you remember when you were featured live on the News, Newswatch TV, and what Dr. Troy did is he actually posted this, he actually posted this on social media, and he actually took the Q&A, in other words, the six most common questions that you answered in a live format on national TV, he actually took that video and he posted it actually on Facebook yesterday. I mean, he's so ahead of the curve, and I'm so excited to see him in about two weeks. What a great idea. We should have Karen do that. By the way, you know, when you talk about that, I mean, we're going to get some great video, you know, of Dwayne Clemens. I mean, you know, at, at, at the seminar, imagine six foot five defensive end who actually still holds the record for the most sacks in one game against Ben Rosberger. Okay, who's not only a chiropractic advocate, but he's not back at a decompression. See, because, you know, back surgery, doctors, is, is an epidemic. I mean, one of 50 back surgery patients, watch this, dies within three years of surgery. The death rates, are, oh, didn't we just see John Hurd from Home Alone, yes. the father? And hold on, can if, if you look at this closely, right, doctor, you don't believe me? There's the study. Look it up online. You can have it. This is not rocket science. But I've spent years of my life saying, how do we as chiropractors – see, doctors, here's what I'm saying to you. Are you making a living or are you making a life? See, if you're out there making a living, okay, then life is a struggle. If you're out there making a life and enjoying your life, then making a living is easy. 
See, because, you know, when I got guys like, like TD and, and guys like Michael Taylor, you know, who they push themselves so hard. Michael, I know what a good boy you are when you're not chicken dancing. You know, I know how hard you're, you're out there working. And I, I respect that. You know, my guys, you know, if you're a client out there and you haven't sent in your stats in a while, guess what? That means that you're not managing it. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. You see, back pain, okay, is, is more than $100 billion annually. They say now it's reaching a trillion dollars. I mean, the numbers keep going up. We have more than 1 million Americans undergo back surgery. So you know what that tells me, doctors? That was, I'm not going to tell you that every one of those didn't need back surgery, even though the dye study out of Washington says maybe 80% didn't need it. So that's 800,000 visits that are out there for you, but they didn't know what you do. And look at that picture. So they're going to end up with that metal in their back, you know, and then they're going to limit themselves. And people don't realize my neuroradiologist, Rob Burko, I surely told me they might do better now, doctors. But the problem is, see, with surgery comes what we call fibrosis or scar tissue. And with that scar tissue, doctors, that'll eventually wrap around the metal. Anyone that's here out there has a boat. It's called they're like barnacles. It gets on. Once that wraps around the nerve, doctors, because you have metal there, and a metal is an antigen. It's a foreign substance that has been put into the body. And the body will, will fight that foreign substance. And when, when the nerve fibers, the fibrosis, then they come into you, doctors, and now they're in terrible pain. So they have two choices now. They have you. OK, and now hold on. Well, what if you have a decompression table, but they have metal in their back? Could you use electroanalgesia? Yes. So you have to know how to treat specific cases and don't let them tell you they can't afford it, doctors, because let me tell you, it's not what back surgery costs, because, again, here are the studies right down this thing. Six to eight thousand endoscopic, 60,000 for fusion, 85,000 for laminectomy. And that does not include doctors, physical therapy, medication. Hospital charges, re lost wages. Oh, my insurance paid for it. Oh, will your insurance also cover when you're out of work for three months? Oh, will your insurance also cover your, all of your medications? Anyone that thinks that insurance covers 100% is 100% wrong. And then, and then what about infection? As I said, I'm with, you know, Overton, you know, hasn't played in two years, and he still has the problem because he went for an epidural. By the way, epidurals are not FDA approved for back pain. And if you didn't know that, doctors, well, welcome to the real world. And if you want research on it, you can either go to the International Disc Education Association website, join for $179, make a donation, come to the event for free, you know, uh, or I'll give it to you at Parker. You come to Dallas, I'm going to put it in the manual. I'll send it to them today. See, doctors, insurance does not cover everything. So it's, it's not just the cost of the copay. It's the cost of rehab. It's the cost of medication. It's a quarter of work. Now, Tim Kremchek, who I've had the opportunity to speak with, who had back surgery. Tim Kremchek, doctor, look him up. He's not a hired gun. He's one of the most leading orthopedic surgeons in the United States. He's on the line with Job and, 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 and Andrews. I mean, he, he goes and he says, listen, what does he say? I don't care who they are. They got back pain. I would never recommend that they had surgery, a surgical procedure, an invasive procedure, even an epidural injection. I'd recommend spinal decompression. Guess why? He had surgery, and he regretted it his whole life. He said it's one of the great regrets of his life. You know, look up Tim Kremchek. So if you're in the Midwest, Roger, this is this this guy is is in Cincinnati. So here here's here's a, here ADL forms, doctors. We do ADL forms before and after decompression. Why? So you can do a comparison. That's how you write research studies. That's how you get published. That's why that's why Luke Henry is is so specific. Give me some more names. I want names. I want to embarrass some people. I want to uh, I want to oh Picard's here. God, I didn't even know he was still around. I thought he went to like Indonesia by now. Okay, so what we want to do is is get you. Hey, look at Sonny's here. You know, not share. We got Sonny from North Carolina. Sonny, good for you. But guess what, Sonny? Haven't seen your stats, baby. Kurt Miller. Down in the stats. Come on, guys. You know, I'm going to tell you the great ones do great, great things. You know, listen. Okay, one of my classmates is, is here today. You know, Dr. Eli Goldstein. Eli Goldstein could be, you know, one of the brightest people that has ever been in his profession. And I'll tell you why. 
Eli is like probably 66, 67 years old. I apologize if you laugh from wrong, but he's still out there. See, success to him is is it's a desire, it's a necessity. Why do we, Eli, have have more exposure on the internet than anyone? You realize I was just honored by Fairleigh Dickens University as one of the outstanding graduates in the history of the school out of 130,000 former alumni. 0.2%. First chiropractic ever. First varsity basketball player ever. What are you doing, doctors? Are you living a life? What is your legacy? See, Eli Goldstein will have a legacy because he's already turning this over to his children. You know, then you get a guy like Ed Buenadano who's out there, okay, who's always working and, and doing, and and he understands. And he, Ed will tell you, I push him to be a better doctor. He'll be in Dallas. Uh, you know what, Eli? He'll be teaching. Do you remember a guy? I'm like the Gutstein of decompression, Eli. I, You know, listen, Donald Gutstein was my professor turned – Turn boys in, into men and, and men into doctors. You want ads? Here's, a, here's an ad for you. End your back pain. Give it to you. I'll give you all the ads you want. Come to the Cairo event. I'll give you ads. Why? Because marketing is not the brand, doctor. And the brand of chiropractic has been ruined by the joint. You want more PI? I'll show you how to get PI by being the best at what you do, by being a disc expert. You want veterans? You want workman's comp? I'll get it to you. Oh, what's this? Went on to report. She went on to report, not only are some people seeking for back pain, this is at the University of Washington. Does this sound familiar, TD? 3,100 adults, spine problems, okay, 2005, and found adjusted annual medical costs from $46.95 per person to $6,000. And that's non-invasive treatment. So when you're charging somebody $2,000 or $3,000 for decompression, you better hand them the studies that say, no, this is not expensive. But if they can pay you to the joint, yeah, you're expensive. The joint, doctors, is not a great thing for chiropractic. And don't forget Chiroport. Oh, they, we, we now have kiosks in, in airport. 19 bucks, you can get an adjustment while, while you fly. See, what we know is, is the disc is a pumping mechanism, and the disc is live tissue. And, and we will provide you with, with, with a study of that that shows that the disc is live tissue. It's constantly pump, pumping water, oxygen, nutrients. And that's what oscillation does. For those people that have the right progression and regression, that's what it does. It's it's a full pull and release, so it's pumping nutrients into the spine. But there's also things that you need to supplement people with, and they also have to be hydrated. Because 86% of the body is, 86% of the disc as well, is water. If If they're dehydrated, they'll be prone to back problems. If they're a smoker, they'll be prone to disc problems. Do you smoke? And guess what? Smokers is going to take longer. You're going to have to charge them more money. Okay, three signs on an X-ray and MRI to determine your problem. First, by X-ray MRI both, we look at each disk space to determine which disk space have a decrease in space or height. We've been doing that, Eli, right? We've been doing that forever. Right, Frank from Michigan? Look at you, right? That's what we did, Frank. Come on. As you go down the lumbar spine, the disk should get thicker and thicker. But guess what? A lot of times when you get to L4, L5, they become narrow. Now, you might say to the person, oh, you got a disk problem. Let me tell you right away, I'm going to say, I need to get an MRI. And what if, what if it gets darkened? The disc space in a normal healthy disc will be plump and is shaded, white in color. So the whiteness, and if you want to learn how to read these better, want to learn how to read MRIs better, come to Dallas. 12 CEUs, a lot of manuals, a lot of gifts, and a lot of quality people. There's a reason why guys like Rich Laura with 12 tables now comes every year and will be presenting, talking about even exercises that you can do. Rebounder. What about our app? Are you guests out there? What, you want to know how big concierge coaches is? This is America. Go to the Apple store, any of your store, type in either DCOA or This is America and get the app and get it for free. We make sure all your patients and doctors are my clients, John Sandoz, all your patients better have that app, John. You know me, John. I'm as tough as you. So, how does spinal decompression work? You got to fix the pump, doctors. You got to improve circulation and you got to get tissues to heal themselves. But hold on. What does that negative disc pressure? So where did we first learn about really negative disc pressure? That was the Ramos and Martin study that we showed. Not only could we increase the disc space, but we could reduce the disc pressure. This was an amazing study, doctors, that, that is out there for you to utilize and implement in, into, your, into your program and, and your practice. When we went to school, you know, Eli, I'll tell you, I mean, you know, people used to go for a myelogram for PI. And no one knows more PI than Eli. But guess what? Myelograms always came out negative. Well, guess what? MRIs don't always come out negative. Matter of fact, they're more positive 
the negative. So basically what you're getting, doctors, is a second opinion. Now, in one of the articles by Dr. Martin and Dr. Boxo, okay, it states in the third paragraph, write this down, doctors. Three MDs, the disc itself is active tissue that contains significant mechanisms for self-repair. Think about what I'm telling you. This is not by Sid Williams, B.J. Palmer, and James Parker. These are three medical doctors, okay? Martin, Oxell, and Malone. And three MDs are stating it's active tissue. And you know what that tells me, doctors? Active tissue will heal itself. Active tissue can repair itself. But you know what? Not if you're going to pound them on side posture every day. There was a reason. What did we call that, Eli? The million-dollar roll? <laughs> the million-dollar roll. And we know Eli made a lot of millions doing that because he's one of the best businessmen in the profession. But I'll tell you what, he's bright. You want to learn? You go to the best. You want to learn? You hang out with the best. I've been a student my whole life. You know why? Because I had a teacher that demanded the most, Dr. Donald Gutstein. So this webinar, to me, is done in his honor because, you know, like I said, he, he would push you to be better. And I'm asking you, doctors, are we doing the best job? Listen, go home today and look in the mirror and ask yourself, is my practice as good as I want it to be? Am I as, as big a specialist as I should be? Am, am I living the life or is life living me? Are you living the dream or are you dreaming of the life? Doctors, I say this, I'm living the dream, you know, but I do it because I have purpose. My purpose is to make the world a better place. Listen, when my son, Jason Kaplan, told me he wanted to be a chiropractor, I said, oh, God. I said, son, it's a great profession, tough business. You got to hustle. But what I learned is by being a better doctor, you know, they will follow you. And when they can follow you, you know, this is the only university. Listen, I know there are other doctors that name themselves after presidents and they have certification programs, but it's only on their table. So I don't care what table you have. I'll certify you, but it's university driven. So, you you know, you want to do PI, you want to be an expert witness. What makes you an expert witness when you have a guy? Boy, was I fat there. I lost. <laughs> I just want you to know I've lost weight since then, Mark. I'm telling you, baby, I'm 20 pounds lighter. I'm, I'm like a lean. I'm a lean green machine here, baby. You know, but what I'm telling you is, you know, we've done the program, I think, at Parker 12 times. We've also done it at National University. And it's funny, by the way, National University is mad at me because I use the word subluxation. That, that's a very bad word at, at National University. So for national graduates, I don't think we should ever give up any of our identity. See, I think that's what makes chiropractors and decompression, why we can't really be taken over by the medical doctor. And let me explain to you why. So let's go to a little anatomy as you're writing down the number to, to, to make plans to be at this university driven. So think about what I'm going to tell you, doctors. If we have a PI right ilium and the sacrum is also tilted to the right and we have a disc herniation L5S1, you can pull that thing from here to high noon. But if the kinesiopathology is still present, after it releases, that disc is going to drain itself of the fluid. The balance the sacrum and the balance the pelvis to open up the disc gets for a better, longer repair. So, you know, and that's why we teach and we certify our doctors in TDC therapy, understanding that. See, what we do is we focus on the brand. This says America, Neuromed, Neurodoc. See, smoke me. We know the brand is bigger than the product. The brand chiropractic, guys, if your ads are just jumping chiropractic everywhere, they'll go to the joint because they're cheaper. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of and they have beautiful waiting rooms, and they have unlimited money, and they're advertising for jobs. And you know what? It's a shame, but they're filling those job occupancies. Is 50000 a year all you want to make? Is $50,000 a year what you think you deserve? These kids are coming out of school with $200,000 in debt. And yet we have guys on, on this thing, you know, that, that are charging three, four, five, and six thousand dollars a package. And what if they have decompression and neuropathy? Well, we're going to tell you how to how to marry the two in in Dallas, Texas. And if you say, "Why aren't you doing it now?" Well, I told you about the Rashman study, but you know, how much can I give you in, in one hour? I mean, I'm running out of water here, for God's sakes, you know. But we build a celebrity. Here's Roger Wong. Roger is four tables, getting ready to open his office. Never had a table before he came to this Center of America. Never. Matter of fact, his father was, was a medical doctor. I had to call his father up, provide his father with medical research before he get a table. So we provide this for all of our clients. How much do we charge for that, Perry? Zippo. Zippo. It's what we do. We give more for less than anybody. I'll put my resume, yes, against anybody in the consulting coaching business in the United States of America. I'll put it against it. 
I took a public company that was losing a million a month and made them profitable. Why do I tell you a public company? Because it's public knowledge. You can't undo that. I ran the public company Nutrisystem. And what I did is I learned the power of the brand. You know, when people used to call Nutrisystem, Perry, they never asked, oh, how good's the food? They bought, the, they bought into the, the brand. And that's what they're not doing with chiropractic. Oh, how much is this going to cost? How much are the x-rays? Well, you know, right away you're starting on the, on the defensive. By being the best doctor you can be, be on the offensive. Let them seek you out because of how good you are and how strong you are. By the way, the pictures that you're looking at, that's my upstairs conference room. And we shoot commercials there and videos there. And we get certificates. We fill your wall with plaques. That's what we do. We build the brand. We build it to, to the point. Hey, look who's there, Moff Cagle. He's the guy in the right-hand corner, upper left. Okay, the ambassador of wellness is, is on this. We have fun at what we do. So, yes, that's my conference. By the way, there's, you know, the one that's under the lights right there, Brian Hesser. Oh, where's he practice? New Mexico. How many square feet is office, Perry? 30,000. 30, we have the biggest practices in the United States, and there's a reason why. There's a reason why. And look who's there, Superman. Mark Lasagio, the king of knees. I mean, this is what we do. Chris Luria, Chris Luria out of Virginia. What a, what a dynamo. These And these are my clients. And they're all on this thing. Why would they want to be listening and getting more? Do you think they say, oh, it's the same old, same old? Because they understand that that studying, and they want to know about the Rashman study. They want to know how to get involved with the VA. They, they want to know about the, the Malone study, that this are living organisms. You have to show this. These certificates that, that you can go. Go to my son's website, wellingtondiscenter.com. But look, look, look what we do. See, we fill your wall. We give you the press releases. How much do we charge for all these certificates, Barry? Nada. Nada. It's not what it's in. Every one of my clients will tell you, even John Sandoz, who's tough, right, John, will tell you, I undercharge and overdeliver. And, John, thank you so much for that beautiful letter that, that you wrote me, that testimonial. It almost made me cry. The key word, John, was almost. But, <laughs> you know, John, it's your work. But I'm telling you, there's nobody better than you, no one more dedicated. And let's put to me, John's legacy turns it over to his son. He's giving this all to his son. Eli's giving it to his daughter. I gave it to my son. What a gift to teach your kids in this competitive world. And I know, listen, my other son went to Harvard. He's out looking for a better job already. It's not so easy. You know, we build a celebrity. We provide you with a radio show, you know, that, that you put on your website. So you become a radio personality, a TV personality. Why? Because the brand doctors. Listen, we've done more for Marie When I was a brand new we did more for Marie Osmond than Marie Osmond did for her own career, for God's sakes. You know, so we want physician news and all these things. We do it. We do the graphic design for you. How much is the graphic design, Perry? How many ways can I say zero? Zero, Perry. <laughs> Perry has a hard. He, he, I said zilch, nada, zippo. He memorized. He memorized his part. That was yeah, I mean, you know, we build a celebrity. So let's recap a few things, okay? Number one. Number one, you're in the right place at the right time. There's a reason you're on this webinar. It is time sensitive. And what we found historically is the doctors that are winning this game, winning this game in practice, in life, in business, and overall, are the ones that can do one simple thing. They're doers. I mean, they're doers. Listen, you know, you want motivation? There's so many great ways to get motivation. You know what the best motivation is to me? Go look in the mirror. Look in the mirror and make a decision whether you're winning the game. If you're winning the game, then we pat you on the back. Congratulations, you're in the 1%. But what about the doctors that wanna be in the 0.001%, that wanna make history? Guys like Dr. Kerry Gerges, who goes on missions, who started with one table, and because of supply and demand, he created such a demand, he had to fulfill the supply. You know how many lasers he has? A bunch. He, nine, nine decompression tables. He will be, for the 10th time, count it, 10 times, he got on a plane, he brought his amazing wife, Sally, he came to Dallas, Texas. Now, you know how many times he can get certified? One time. But why does he keep coming back? He keeps coming back because he's winning the game. Well, you're 10 certificates. He's we got recommend you do it annually. I mean, he's going to have to, <laughs> he, has, he has so much wallpaper. And then you meet guys like Dr. David Sifra, who now has a second clinic now from New York to Florida, crushing it, Chris Loria. And, 
You know, one of the cool things about the program is when Jason, watch how many camera phones come out. When Jason takes the microphone, watch what happens when you're in the room, when he does the actual patient presentation, the nuances, the patient setups. And he co-teaches this with an amazing doctor, Dr. Ed Buonadonna. And when they start pulling out the harnesses and they start talking about the angles and the degrees and all the little ins and outs to get a better result, that's the magic of it. Dr. Kaplan spoke about before that you can go on Apple, you can download an app, The Centers of America, and this is about three little letters. It's about BBM. You know what BBM stands for? It doesn't stand for BlackBerry Messenger, of which I have. It stands for bigger, better, and more. So you have to look in the mirror and say, you know what? Here's my chance in two and a half weeks Either you're on the inside looking out or you're the outside looking in. You make the call. Do you want to be do you want to be in the parade? You want to be leading the parade or you want to be watching the parade go by? Now I gotta I gotta point out, like I said, why do we do this? Obviously, listen, it's it's a good it's a lot of good fellowship. Uh, Parker University pays us nothing to do this. This will be the twelfth time I did it. I started doing it because my son went to school there and Fab Mancini approached me. Uh, we even donated a table, a, a decompression table, to Parker University. Uh, it's amazing that many of the schools don't even have one. And our goal, the International Education Association, is eventually uh, our next one that we, we're trying to get a table for now is Life University. So, uh, you know, because how, kids are coming out of school, doctors, they're going for the joint. We want you to understand, as our doctors, by building credibility, building respect, understanding the the, the MRI, understanding that. You know, the brand is, is big. And as I said, this says America, we're, we're the largest on the Internet when it comes to this. Do you doctors know, we're going to talk about this in Dallas, that everyone a year ago we talked about, oh, laser paint centers. We're going to show you some surgery, some laser paint centers. Guess what? They're out of business. So laser paint, that's supposed to be, oh, so no invasive. Laser paint surgery, out of business. Bankrupt. Why? Too many malpractice cases against them. Well, I have yet to know of a malpractice case. I'm sure there's someone somewhere that screwed up. Of, of somebody for doing spinal decompression because it's non-invasive doctors. It's non-invasive. So, you know, I'm proud that Jason already has, he's married to a chiropractor. That's his wife. They have three tables and three years of practice and he'll have his fourth this year. Uh, and, and he's loaded. I mean, he doesn't want to, he doesn't, and he doesn't want to work the hours that I used to work, which is probably right. He said, dad, I saw how hard you work. You know, I don't want to look as old as you when I get to be your age. And, <laughs> It's so what we do, Eli. You know, I mean, listen, this profession, this profession will age you. Will age you. Eli still looks young. So, you know, Roger, like I said, you know, Roger now has four tables and getting ready to open his other office. We have Carrie Gertz with nine tables, Richard Law with 12 tables. I think Brian Hesser has four to five tables. I think Brian did something like over 300,000 just in decompression last year. We, we turned Brian into a specialist. He said, look what he says. This totally changed my practice. My practice more than tripled. I am known in my town as a specialist. As a matter of fact, the former quarterback, Bernie Kosar, from the Cleveland Browns, drove an hour, an hour to come see him. I became a way better doctor, way more confident. I've been known in the town. If someone wants to have back surgery and they don't want to have back surgery, they come to my office. It changed my life and my patient's life. Honest to God, it's one of the best things that happened in my life. My mom, dad, and fiance love Dr. Kaplan and Dr. Bard. You know, well, maybe Dr. Bard more than me, but that's okay. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. And, you know, you have people like like Sally and Carrie Gurgis. You know, Carrie was ready to give up chiropractic, and he now has nine tables. And he gets referrals. He, he was working, you know, as, as an emergency man. And he, he now, as medical doctors, refer to him. But I'll tell you, to his benefit, I mean, he became a student of the game. I mean, you know, he comes, and he educates the doctors. He wants to know. He he went from being a chiropractor ready to retire and because he hated the game, and now he's enjoying it. OK, so, you know, listen, you know, we want you to get it back and, and look at his wall with, with certificates. We want you to be the best you can be, doctors. And, and that means studying and, and it means working. It's, it's, it's not just an ad, you know, and he has more than he, 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 he's added more collages. Let's go to the next one. I mean, we can go on and on. Richard Law, just 12 tables, you know, uh, you know, and, and Decatur, Illinois, of, of which 60 percent are on, on fixed income. And he has 12 tables. He won't even take – all he does is do decompression now. He doesn't even do basic chiropractic anymore. If they just want subluxation care, he refers them out. Imagine referring it out. Imagine being a specialist within a profession. Why not specialize, doctors? But buying a table – listen, if you want to know 
Is everyone succeeding in decompression? No, go on eBay. If you see tables of sale, did the table not work or did the doctor know how to work the table? See, when I see tables for sale, I'm saying, gee, the guy didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know how to educate. This is what we do. Our family of doctors goes on and on. Matter of fact, if they go to ConsciousCoaches.com, Perry, they can see how many testimonials there. And you'll see the whole name. I love when the other consultants, they do uh, Dr. Perry B., Florida. We'll give you their names. Call them up. We don't care. You know, my mother said, live your life like a field covered with snow. Forever you walk, your steps will show. See, by adding spinal decompression to your practice, you have to agree, you know, you, you know that it's been time well spent. You see, my goal today was not to give you money's worth, but to give you time's worth. I can't cover everything in an hour webinar, but I'll tell you what, we got a lot done today. We talked about the Ramos study. We talked about the Martin study. We talked about the Shealy study. We talked about the Bergmeier study. We talked about the Rashman study. We talked about the Malone study. There's a half and dozen studies. Oh, watch this. We talked about the Lazler study. That's seven studies that already, and in the manual, we have more. You know, the IDA, $179. If you don't want to join, don't join. But if you do join, you're going to help put a spinal decompression machine in, 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 a, in a company, and you're going to help get more research and decompression. You want to see the stuff on, on, on epidurals? You want to see the latest in research? Always post it. My doctors, you know, get it. You guys get it. You know, how do you go? Discassociation.org. Very simple. And you know what? Did they get a certificate with that? You get a beautiful certificate. Why? That's what we do, doctors. We build the brand, okay? And who's, oh, by the way, who's the honorary co-chairman? It was Dr. Alan Dyer who agreed to this, who recently passed away. So what, what, what I'm saying to you, but I had the pleasure of working with guys like that and talking to him and talking to Dr. Shealy and talking to Dr. McClure, who, by the way, did the McClure study, which we're going to get into detail, of 500 cases with a 92% success rate of pre-surgical cases. This is pretty amazing stuff, doctors. You know, we want you to take chiropractic up a notch. If, if I have a legacy, doctors, listen, fortunately, Eli, I'll say this publicly, I don't have as much money as you. But, <laughs> not many people do. But, Eli, and I know he's smiling right now. But, but, a kid from Brooklyn who, who really is a superstar in profession. But, I can honestly say I don't have to work another day for the rest of my life. I do this, doctors, because how will you be remembered? We remember as a guy that just got up every day and worked his ass off and, and tried to make a living, or, or or do you have can can you leave something back to the profession? A profession doctor, listen, are you kidding? We're the Hatfields and the McCoys. Chiropractors circle the wagons and shoot at each other. We still have an ICA and an ACA. We still don't get paid for X-rays from Medicare. I mean, the benefits are, are done. So you know, you want to get you know a manual with the latest in research. You know, basically, doctors. This is the time. And no, some people can say, oh, November 16th and 17th, I can't make it. Well, guess what? In the first of the year, for those that want to get their one-day MBA, we have a Cairo event. And and we have that in, in Florida. And that's a day, you know, that we do on Saturdays that's joined by clients and non-clients that want to learn the business, the business of spinal decompression, that want to learn the business of neuropathy. And they sit with doctors that are doing it day in and day out, that are closing three, four, you know, Dr. Betts closed four cases last week. And, you know, bonus manuals. I mean, we, we have we have manuals. So watch this. We put together a book. Dr. Bard and I wrote. My clients will get it, but here's what. Anyone that shows up to Dallas will get this book. It's the Cairo Veterans Benefits book. It shows you how to get onto the network. It shows you where the hospitals are. It shows you what to do if they don't have decompression there, it shows you what to do if you get denied. There is an appeal process. It shows you the, the timelines and the expansion rate according to the Appropriations Act. So this is a very, 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 you know, great manual. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, you know, a, a beautiful thing. We teach how the veterans can access chiropractic, how you can be, you know, how you can do that. And we, we have things that you can print up for your doctors that when they're a veteran, you can print up these pages and give it to them. And it shows them how they can access chiropractic care. Because remember, doctors, we have to make the patients proactive. So there's a part that you will do, a part that they will do, you know, and a part that the VA will do. OK, and, and that's what we do. I mean, you know, and, you know, what we want to do is, is you know, the, the, the VA 2009 Mission Act, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. I mean, there are so many things that are going on which started in June 6th of 2019. So, so many of these, so many of these things are new, you know, that, that, that are taking place that, that we have to do that and come involved. And then, like I said, meet lives, Wayne Clemens, 
you know, Dwayne, you know, chiropractic saved his life. Matter of fact, when Dwayne hurt his back, and like I said, we, we know about that, and then the team wouldn't buy a decompression machine, he went out and bought his own machine. Yes. An NFL player went out and bought his own machine, learned how to use the machine, started treating other players, and guess what? Dwayne, now that he's retired, he says, I don't want to be retired anymore. He's going to open up a decompression center in, in Maryland. And his goal is to bring decompression, you know, to the VA and, uh, he, he, you know, and not, to the, not only to the VA, but to the NFL. And he wants Perry and I to work with him on doing that. So imagine, doctors, if, if people became more aware that, you know, you're reading every day about herniated discs and, and, and then, you know, we don't want to lose those to the medical world. Okay, Dr. Gerdes, my seventh time attending has moved my practice exponential growth. Buena Donna, my third time attending. Best information, best professors. Thanks. Thanks, Eddie. Okay, one weekend to become a doctor. The best class you will take in years. And it will be. Henry, fourth time attending the class. Why do guys come over and over? Because there's always new stuff. We, I mean, what, what about, you know, for those who haven't seen it, you know, some have. What about the Judge Judy episode when they took a chiropractor to court and they wanted the money back because they didn't get the results? How do you win? Well, we'll show you how to win. We'll show you how to defeat that. I only do this once a year. Why? Well, I'm old. I'm tired. Listen. But my legacy will be that they'll say one day Kaplan revolutionized the world of decompression and profession. Kaplan and Bard changed the way that we treat neuropathy within the profession. Perry's doing a whole big special thing on neuropathy at this seminar because there's a coupling of neuropathy. Listen, I want to go where the cash business is. When, when they went to the great Willie Smith and they said, why do you rob banks? He said, that's where the money is. I don't want to be dependent on an insurance company in the state of Florida, Blue Cross Blue Shield, paying 40 bucks a visit. And let me tell you something. And every year, the attorneys want to pay you less because the insurance are paying them less, and they want to cut your benefits. Well, you know what? I'm, I want to take control of my life. I'm angry, doctors. I'm angry that we as chiropractors have been so passive. We, we let them, like, like cattle, run us into the things. They give us ICD-10. They cut your benefits. The insurance pays you crap. They pay physical therapists more than you. If you're happy with that, God almighty, what's the matter? What's the matter? Let me show you how to become a specialist. If, if you want to take your practice to the next level, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Call this. And I'll tell you what, my next one, when is Perry? In January? January 18th. January 18th. I, I know I have, I, I know I have, you know, I think I have three or four spots left. So what I'm saying to you is, you know, the first people that call, I'm going to tell you what I will do today. My Christmas gift, Hanukkah gift. We celebrate Christmas. I'm half Italian, half Jewish. So we celebrate Christmas in my house. The, the first four people that call, and, and, and we will have it in order, if they want to attend this and they haven't attended before, they can come a, as my guest. Yes, there'll be no charge. And I will guarantee you, you'll get more information, more content, more marketing, more ads, more things at the Cairo event and Trump and lunch. You'll see the President of the United States golf locker. You'll see where, 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 where they go. You'll see what we do. But more importantly, you'll learn how to be a better doctor. And if you want to do that, the first three to four that call, 888, you'll speak to Lacey. Uh, it, the, the line's already ringing, so she's going to catch that one. 990-9660. Uh, and I'll do that in January. Why not start the year off right? Because here's what I'm telling you, doctor. You're either winning or losing, and only you know it. And part of the reason that you're on this webinar today is you're looking for something. Well, you know what? When opportunity knocks, doctors, you got to open the door. I'm knocking right now. I'm going to say I can make your practice better. How do I know that? Go on the ConsciousCoaches.com. Go with the Cairo event come. See where it's held. Held on one of those beautiful properties in, in the state of Florida. I'm going to ask you this, doctor. What's one new patient worth to you? Listen, if you came on that day to the Cairo event and I added one patient to you, that could be worth $3,000. If I added one a month, that's $36,000. If I added one a week, that's over $100,000 a year, doctors. That, that's $150,000 a year one a week. You can do this, doctors. Why? Because remember early on I said, because a bulge, a, a subluxation becomes a bulge, and a bulge becomes a herniation. And if you're not diagnosing it properly, if you're not examining them properly, if you're not doing the little things that you're supposed to do. So I, I have another call coming in now. I see the call. Lacey's on the line. Leave the message. She will get back to you. But for those who haven't attended, four. For those that want to come to Dallas, listen, you're going to get the VA book. If if you miss Dallas and you come in, in, in January, I'll give you the VA book as well. I'll have it there. No charge. Why? I don't need your money. But I'll tell you what I do need. I need support in chiropractic. I, I need us to take control. 
we're fighting, you know, to get veterans benefits. I've, I've spoken with the president of the United States personally, sitting at a table. I'll show you pictures with my hands on his shoulders. Show me another chiropractor in history profession that could show you a picture with their hands on the president. And let me tell you, doctors, I'm not saying that I'm a Republican or a Democrat. And nor did I treat the differences. When they came to my office, I didn't ask them, oh, are you a Republican or are you a Democrat? I asked them if it's cash or check. I want to get paid. I want to get paid. If they're white, black, or Hispanic, if they're Republican or a Democrat, I don't care. I care about what's the condition of their spine. What's their disc? So if you want to learn how to become a disc doctor, if you want to become how to become a specialist, okay, then you know what? You need to come to the Cairo event, which is held in Jupiter, Florida. Okay? You need to come to Dallas. Dallas, we're going to talk about research because it's CEU events. Oh, by the way, our profession does not let you talk money at CEU events. Do you believe that? They don't want you to make money. I mean, it, it, it's really scary. But at the NBA, that's what we talk about. We talk about, we not only talk about what you charge, we talk about how to close. We show you how to close. We show you how to get paid. We provide you with finance companies that, that do this, way beyond care credit, which everyone knows about. But there's others out there. So what we want to do is, listen, we want you to make money. We want you to be happy. We want you to get paid. We want you to buy your wife jewelry. We want you to have everything that you've ever wanted in life, but not because you're a better salesman, doctors. Look at my class last year. I mean, this is the number one outside attended CEU event at the university. It's unbelievable. You know, and, and uh, you'll, you'll sit there. You'll meet a lot of our doctors. We have a great night of fellowship, a great night of sharing. I mean, and, and, and that's what this profession is. It, it's not a, you know, it, it's we're, we're more than just subluxations now. So, again, I, 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 you know, what? Two seats are already gone. I have two seats left, 888-990-9660. And listen, my, my belief is this. You know, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. If you're out there, doctors, and you're listening, and you say, should I or shouldn't I? Should I do this? Should I do that? Well, here's what I'm telling you. This is what chiropractors have been doing forever. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? And here's what I'm saying. Doctors, stop shouldn't all over yourself. Yes. Get your ass down to Florida. Learn why I have guys with 30,000 square feet with 12 tables, with nine tables. Why I have a 33-year-old son with, with three tables who takes 10%, 10% of his practice is insurance. If he was insurance only, Eli, he'd be broke. You know, listen, it takes time for a kid out of school. They don't, they don't have the automatic PI practice. They don't have your credibility. It takes time. But what if you can specialize in decompression, neuropathy? What if you can offer a pain-free solution? What if everything you ever wanted in chiropractic is right there, right now, for you? It's, it's waiting for you here today. But you know what? you got to pick up the phone. So could I give away four slots? Yeah, i got two slots left. And otherwise, when you think about it, like when you're, when you're sitting there having your eggnog on Christmas and you, you, know, and you weren't able to buy the wife that three-carat diamond ring or the new Lexus she wanted, and you're saying, gee, I really wanted to get her that Lexus this year, maybe next year. You know what? I'm going to tell you. You want to learn how to get your wife that Lexus or Mercedes? This is what you do. What do you think Dr. Barr drives a Maserati, for God's sakes? Okay? Guy retired at 40 years old. I pulled him out of retirement. Why? Because he knew more about new patients than I did. If you want to be the best, you have to surround yourself by the best. I never heard of anyone that got 20 new patients a day. So yes, doctors. Yes, doctors. You know, if 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 you wanna if you wanna do that, <laughs> if you wanna do that, Eli, I've always been funny. Come on, Eli, I'm handling everything. Eli, you're funny too. I'm telling you, Eli Goldstein, one of the one of the great chiropractors and 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 a motivating force who I go back to school with. And, and we have such history and, you know, people like him and other guys, great guys like Al Jerome and Fred Blumenfeld, guys that, you know, listen, we went through the war. You know, they, they, you know I, I have people that go to medical school. They, they treat them like gods from the time they come in in the white jackets and they make them proud. They didn't do that. You know, it was always a grind. We had teachers that didn't like us, you know, people that were jealous of us. And what are we trying to do, doctors? Not just make a living, but make a life and make the world a better place. Homework. Go online and go to failed back surgery syndrome. And then say to yourself, you know, my God, we're failing as a profession. And what I'm telling you is it's time for you to start winning. It's time for you to be a specialist. So I'm telling you to come to the Cairo event. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, we I have two more minutes left. Uh Lacey will be on the line. You know, I know we filled two two slots up already. Then if if you call up, I'll put you on the lady. If you call today. Tomorrow, today, if you miss that one, the one I have in February, you'll go right on the waiting list. You'll be the first one on it. I'll take 
I'll take four in February as well. So that, if you can't make January, it'll be February. And I'll do that. And, and I'll tell you why. And you'll have you, you'll, you'll come for a beautiful day. But you know what? If you want to see how pretty it is, if you want to watch testimonials, go to the Cairo event.com. Don't take my word for it. You know what? Because seeing is believing, not hearing is believing. That was the old adage, doctors. Today, it's seeing is believing. You know, listen, look, look at this picture. This is this is what it is. One chiropractor. And just for the, for the, the people that said, I also was a, a first chiropractor ever appointed to the President's Council on Sports and Physical Fitness under Bill Clinton. So I work with both Republican presidents and Democratic presidents. I've been featured in the USA Today. I've been out there, doctors, making a difference, developing a legacy for chiropractic, for chiropractic. Because I'm going to tell you something, because otherwise, what are we just going to be, PI doctors? If, that, if that's what you want, doctors, let me tell you, the world will change because there's legislation every year that wants to pay you less and less money because they, they can't do it. So what I'm telling you is you want to change your life, doctors? Listen. 888-990-9660. You want to learn more about the science, doctors? Then you come to Dallas. You want to learn how to make money, real money. You want to learn how to make Mercedes money. You want to learn how to make, you know, uh, Bentley money. You come there. Eli, you still driving the rolls? I mean, this is what these guys do. The great ones know, but I'll tell you what, work ethic, never, never slow down. Now he's building for his daughter. He, you know, he, you know, you know, there's a passion to winning. Why does Tiger Woods still play golf? He was telling me, yeah, you know, he can't jog anymore. There's certain things. He has to work out an hour a day to get loose. He can't hit as many balls as he used to do. You know, he said he wished he would have known about decompression. Imagine that. He said, ooh, I wish I would have known about that before my first surgery. You know, not that it would have worked, but you know what, doctors? We would have had a chance. Four back surgeries later, Steve Kerr. The, 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 the complications of back surgery are astronomical. And every time you read one of these articles, doctors, we failed. Because they, listen, we don't, we do more than change light bulbs. We change lives. How many chiropractors does it take to change a light bulb? One. How many chiropractors does it take to change a life? One. How many chiropractors does it take to make a heal a disc? One. And maybe that one is you. So don't be the bad end of a joke. Okay? Change the world. How many chiropractors does it take to heal a bad disc? And that's my response. Well, how many chiropractors does it take to heal a light bulb? I said the same amount of chiropractors that it takes to heal a herniated disc. One. So thank you for being here today. I hope that you are the one, that you are the one that's going to make a difference in your life, in your family's life. And if you have children, what if like my child, they want to come into this business? Has it been easy for you? Would you like it to be easier? Would you like to get your respect back? I learned at Nutrisystem, chiropractor, failure because university, Jersey City. How do I become the president of a public company? Because I woke up earlier and stayed up later. How do I learn this research? I wake up earlier. I stay up later. See, being good is not good enough for me. Good is the enemy of great. So doctors, if you want to be great, stop being good. Get your ass to Dallas. Get your ass to Florida. Get your ass in gear. Let's make 2020 the best year for chiropractic ever. Thank you and God bless.